In this tutorial, I'm going to walk through how you can copy and paste from a Windows machine to a VirtualBox. And I'm on Windows 10, and I'm going to be using VirtualBox with Linux Ubuntu version 16. And I'm going to show you something that I found when I was working through it, because many of the tutorials that I discovered didn't quite work properly. So that's what I want to walk through here. So what I'm proposing to do is I want the ability, if I'm on some Windows site, such as some kind of browser here, I want to be able to simply copy something in that browser, and I want to paste it into my virtual machine. So I'm going to start one of these up, so it doesn't really matter which one that I go with but I'm going to start up the virtual machine and you'll see by default this may not work for you. And if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that that is the case. And so, uh, like I mentioned, many of the tutorials that I found online were missing a few steps, which is why I created this video. So let's open up the virtual machine here with Ubuntu and I'm going to show you first that this doesn't work by default. So I'll just try to, I copied something already, so now let's just try to paste it in. So like you saw, I copied this and now if I go into that active virtual machine and if I try to paste this, it's not going to work. And that's perfectly fine. That's what we're going to work through is exactly how we can make this work. So if I right click here, you can see paste isn't activated. Now, many of the tutorials that I've seen said to do something like this, where you exit out of the virtual machine and then inside of the settings, you go here and then click on advanced and then click share to clipboard bi-directional and then drag and drop bi-directional. And they said, oh, that's all you have to do and it'll work for you. But let's just test out that theory right here. And if this works like it has on my other systems and on my other VirtualBox snapshots, this will not actually allow us to copy and paste. There is a very important next step that can be very tricky because I've seen all kinds of different guides that gave different recommendations, but they did not work. So I'm going to open this up again and we will try to paste into the browser once again and see if that bi-directional rule worked. So now if I come here, you can see paste still is not working. And so the reason for this is because we need to install guest editions. So the way that you can do that is close your virtual box and come back to settings. Now, if you come here and click on storage, where it says storage IDE secondary master, click on optical drive empty, and then click on choose disk image. From there, you can see that we have this VBox guest editions right here. And so I'm gonna click on this and click open. And now you can see it no longer says empty, but what we've done here is we've taken the VirtualBox guest editions, which this gives us some additional tooling. Specifically, it gives us the ability to copy and paste, and it enables that bi-directional copy and paste. So now, if I click start, this is going to allow us to run that. So I'm going to open up the VirtualBox, and even though we don't actually have a CD drive in, this is going to mimic that in our virtual box. So it's going to be like we had a Linux computer here and we put in a CD and we're going to install from that CD. So I'm going to run this. And I will say, since I've not tested this out on this machine, then we might need to do some debugging here on the fly. Because I, when I originally had to get this working on a different machine, I ran into a number of bugs. So we're going to see how it works now. But if you come here, you can see that now we have this little disk. It's VBox Editions 516. And so I'm going to right click on this and it's going to open up this directory. Now in order to run this, just click on the top here where it says run software, click on run, 
and then it's going to ask you for your password for your virtual box click on authenticate and then it's going to install this and this may or may not work i have had some issues right here you can see it says failed to set up service vbox ad please check the log file and then hit return okay so that's going to close it out let's just do a quick test because I have had a few times where this actually did work, but it, uh, it gave that little error message. So I'm gonna reboot the system. So open up the terminal and you can just type reboot and that's going to restart the entire virtual box. And we're just gonna do a quick check here to make sure that that is not working. Okay, we're back up. Okay, let's open up the browser here really quick i'm going to go back to windows and just copy this and then switch back to our virtual box click here and you can see it's actually working so that's one spot where i kept on getting stuck was because i saw that little error message and that did not give a clear indicator to say that it was working but as you can see we now do have the ability to copy and paste so that is how i personally work through the bug simply clicking on the change for the bi-directional copy and paste that is not enough you also have to have the virtual box edition so those are the guest editions that allow that to work so that is how i personally was able to get copy and paste working on this machine.